Oh, hello everyone. There's gonna be a slight delay with everything getting coordinated. Hope everyone is doing well. Happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. It's What's Up Wednesdays with Blake. I'll have to come up with a little jingle for it. Uh, but I hope everyone is doing well. Happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday, oh, oh. I am so excited to have tonight's chat. Hey, Kinsley, hope you're well. Hey, Kinsley. Uh, for those, hey, Lisette, hey, girl. Uh, for those who are returning customers, um, I have a new setup. So my laptop is immediately in front of me and I, I'm using my phone actually to stream. I checked the quality and it turns out it's a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> and I have some lights as well that I'm trying to, I'm really trying to get better at my lighting for my videos with what I have. Ultimately, natural light is best, but got to work with what I have. So uh, please, if, I, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at the comments. So I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you so much. Also, I figured the blue with the pink, the soft pink is like a good color combination. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for all these compliments. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing great. Uh, while we are getting things going, I would love if everyone could give the video a thumbs up so we can get trending, you know, help the algorithm. So yes. Hello, everyone. Hi, Deborah. Hi, hi, hi. Marsha's Trove. Hi. My, let me highlight that comment because it's a fun comment. Uh, my birthday was great. Thank you so much for asking. It wasn't, you know, anything crazy. I didn't see anyone. I was alone, but not in like a, well, maybe. Um, you know, LA is still very bad with the pandemic. So uh, I did get my favorite meal, which a few reseller friends contributed to. So that was very sweet of them. And I cozied up and watched one of my favorite shows, which is RuPaul's Drag Race all day long with some pool time. I got some fun in the sun, which is, I'm not sure. Yeah, you could tell, like, this is from my tank top. Oops. <laughs> I get tan very fast. So thank you so much for asking. Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as we get started. Today, thank you all for joining me again for the rebranded What's Up Wednesdays, where it's a little bit, you know, casual. We could talk about whatever. Today's topic will be focused on brands that will always resell no matter what platform. There are some caveats with that but we will get into them uh, in a little bit. I would like to quickly say that I just got a delivery from the UPS man and it is this, what is this? A radio solar crank uh, flashlight. So those who are not in California, we recently had an earthquake, 4.2 or 4.5, and then we had 30 plus aftershocks. And when I tell you I woke up at 4.30 in the morning from this earthquake, I literally, the next thing I did was buy this flashlight on Amazon, one that can be cranked for power because it was like, if we don't have power, like that's a problem. So, you know, here's the, <laughs> thank God for Amazon. It's blue. Ooh, and you can charge your phone with it. So we love, we love. Um, hello everyone, hello everyone. So isn't this cute? I'm gonna go with a little wrist strap. Highly recommend, I'm a fan. For those who don't know, I am a Boy Scout. Super fun fact, I am an Eagle Scout. So I'm very into like wilderness and you know things like this. Does have a solar panel, should you be camping? Um, I'm a very handy person. So, you know, I love something like this where it has the radio, should everything go out, you know, radio will work. Um, but it does have this little crank. And then all you do to charge the flashlight is just go, can you hear it? And then, you know, you have to do it for a little bit. And then where's the button for the flashlight? Oh, sorry. <laughs> and it's bright. I mean, you have to do it for a while to keep it keep it going, but um, I love it. Oh my gosh, look at this old school antenna. How cute. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I realized I didn't have a flashlight. So I was like, let me get one that is um, crankable. All right, so who's ready to get into today's topic? Today's topic, today's topic. Thank you. Oh yes, oh yes, Margaret. We don't have a tornado shelter here. Um, I have my subterranean parking garage. 
but that's as far down as you can go, you know, but we have earthquakes, so. Um, sorry that I blinded you. <laughs> uh, all right, love that blue. I know, I know, same here, same here. Okay, so let's get into the topic at hand. Again, real quick, my I have a new setup. So my camera's here, honey, and my laptop is here. So if I'm looking down and reading the comments, okay. So first things first, brands that resell no matter what. We're gonna start with a list of five. We're gonna have a lot of interaction with this and you tell me your experience and I'll tell you mine. Uh, if we have time for more, I think we will. Um, I'm prepared for seven, so uh, seven or eight, so we should be good. Um, and we'll just talk about some uh, parameters with these statements that, uh, let's just dive into it, okay? Here we go, here we go. Okay, so first brands first. First brand that will sell no matter what on any platform is Lululemon. Okay, so it is no shocker, no shocker at all, that Lululemon is, you know, top notch, high quality activewear, right? <sighs> Lululemon, gosh. Uh, coming out in my Fridays, what sold? I have a Lululemon sports bra that. Honestly, it was probably a couple years old, worn, like used, but still sold for $30 in under a week. It's incredible. I, oh no, but it keeps turning off. Oh gosh, wait, okay, real quick. How is the, how is the connection? When you say turn off, what do you mean? Cause I can switch, I can switch camera. I'm just waiting for the live chat to come through. Ha ha ha, ha ha hope everyone's okay. Same problem, thought it was just me. Okay, hold on you guys. I'm gonna, um, I'm going to adjust my camera. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna add myself into the chat, hold on. We're gonna switch to a different camera. So sorry for the connection issues. So sorry, so sorry. Okay, let me add myself. Okay. All right, you guys, how about now? I'm so sorry. Can you guys hear me? I'm so sorry, you guys. Ugh. How are we now? How are we now? So sorry. I think we're back. I think we're back. Okay. I had to switch to my computer. I guess the phone thing not working and that's, uh, that's what that's going to be. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. 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 I pride myself on lack of technical issues. So, you know, here we go. Okay. Uh, Lululemon, where was I? Lululemon is a brand that always sells. I will say the caveat to that is, uh, Lululemon can have some issues when it comes to certain styles. Um, I think it's always a safe bet to always pick up in good condition, like no pilling, uh, or if there is very minor pilling, depending on the fabric, you know, sweater shaver. But I think for the most part, a high waisted legging will always do well. Uh, wonder under type, uh, type uh, waist, a seven eighths, length legging always does well. Um, places where we run into issues is the yoga pant type. I think that was kind of trendy a couple years ago. Um, and people definitely do still wear them to lounge around in, but you know, the wide leg, like legging, not so much present day. Do we, do we agree? Do we agree?
picked up Lululemon fluff and awesome camo goose down jacket yesterday. Yes. Oh, goose down. Oh my gosh. That's a steal. That's going to be a pretty penny. I imagine. I love it. Um, sorry, Amy. Sorry. Sorry. Um, Kristen, I have Lululemon tank top that I have in my closet missing the size tag. Only no likes or interest in it. Okay. So here's a question. I've sold stuff without the size tag. Uh, actually, 95% of my Lululemon I sell without the size tag. Uh, do you have measurements in your description? And what is it, like a current style tank? If it's the Swiftly tank, those sell virtually within minutes uh, of listing. So maybe just do like a quick little audit of that listing and see if it's uh, any better. Love it, love it. Um, Kinsley says, I haven't had luck with Lululemon. Maybe I just didn't pick up the good styles. So keep in mind, keep in mind activewear, there's so many competitors to Lululemon now as opposed to even one or two years ago. Allo, Allo Yoga is a huge one. They started to pop up and I personally initially did not like them. I had a boss that wore them when I was a personal assistant and the, the fabric content is like weird to me if it's not that like performancey kind of material but um the real cotton based like everything kind of stuck to it and i didn't like that so um i think they've worked that out but there's a lot of competitive activewear now like fabletics is really working hard they now have men's fabletics men's um there's a lot of boutique activewear brands it's it's incredible but for the most part current bright unique limited edition patterns. Keep in mind all of these things when you're looking and sourcing for Lululemon because they will get you dollar bills. And something to note with like the limited edition things such as uh, the Seawees, which is the Canadian marathon. And you only can get these items if you participate in them, in these uh, races. You can sit on them, absolutely. And, you know, for limited edition things in general, not just Lululemon, that will always, always be good. But just don't get too aggressive with the cost because sometimes I've I've seen this. Um, I've been following one particular item just out of curiosity. It doesn't fit me or anything. But it is a Seawees item and it is beautiful. It's brand new. But the person has it priced so high and it hasn't changed that they're holding on to it, of course. But also, like, I think you need to, like, read the room, read the market, so to speak. Um Because after a while, like, some people just aren't looking for it. It's not like... I mean, you could call it collectible, but it's not like this be all end all thing. It's like a pair of leggings, you know, a jacket, shorts, like people are not going to pay. I mean, they do, but people are not, you know, years later going to pay like $500 for a Seawees jacket from 2013. You feel me? So, um, oops, hold on. Swimmerization. Hold on. Swimmerization. I see your comment. Outdoor Voices, new one, and Gymshark sells well. Um, sure does. I will say, uh, let's, let's continue with the brands that I'm going to focus on. Um, I have opinions about Outdoor Voices and Gymshark. Um, I don't think they will always sell. Um, but Lululemon as a brand for the most part, will always resell in good to okay condition, which not many people can, not many brands can say, which is great. Uh, hi, Vero. Hello. Okay. Hi, Barbara. Hey, Barbara. Hi. Yes, Kevin Hart is hilarious in the Fabletics commercial. I was listening. I had it like on the TV and I was like, is that Kevin Hart for Fabletics? Okay. Like they're really, they're really investing in the men's market for that. So um, smart, smart for them. Summarization on the Lulu buy, sell, trade sites, the people are having trouble finding anything in stock in stores. Yes. Um, people, I mean, pe people did not shop in a store from like March, mid-March to now. So all of that merchandise is being sent out and distributed to all these companies. So, um, hello, hello. 
Oh, wait, Michelle, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I am a little glossy today. Love it. Mm, no highlighter, no nothing. It's just my natural glow. <laughs> um, Fabletics, yep, yep, 100%, 100%. Okay. Okay, so to recap for Lululemon, current, current styles, a high-waisted legging, a 7 eighths length legging in worn, gently worn to brand new condition. And depending on like what, like, no, we'll keep it at that. We'll keep it at that. Um, you can, you can always do well. And it does not need to have a size tag. If you ever are questioning it, just do a lot of um, research on Poshmark. Find, like, if you can get an idea, like, oh, maybe it's a six, go see other sixes of that item in Poshmark and look for people that have posted in solds. Look for people that have posted uh, measurements. So you can see, like, oh, 15 inches for the sports bra. Okay, that's a XYZ size. Perfect. That's what this is, you know. Just do your research in that way. Like, work backwards. Um, cause that's, that's, uh, Lululemon is one of those brands where if it doesn't have the size tag, it can sell like at value. That's not a lot of brands. Vero, we just, we're just on Lululemon. We're actually going to switch to the next, to the next topic real quick after I talk about Eviva. So for those that don't know, Eviva was the juniors line of Lululemon. I saw that once ever in my life here in Pasadena, in Los Angeles, and um, it was a boutique. It was very different than a Lululemon experience. Um, I think it was set up so that you could be, uh, not a distributor, but like you could buy in bulk from Lululemon. I think they were trying to drive traffic, um, but also, I had a couple skinny, skinny girlfriends and they would go to shop the juniors because it was like 40 to $60 cheaper for a pair of leggings and they could fit in the largest size juniors. But they stopped with that brand to my knowledge. So that's that. Uh, I, I think it's geared towards juniors, but it might go down to a, to a, I don't know. I don't think it does toddlers, but like, let's say eight to 12 or 14 or something. Age, age range, age range. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So just Lululemon. Okay, great. Next up. And these are not in any order. Like I didn't rank them uh, to be this way. Uh, next brand that will always sell no matter what, no matter what platform is Patagonia. Patagonia. <sighs> Patagonia is a brand that tried and true and authentic can warrant a couple pretty pennies. I would obviously, obviously have to start with a down vest. Um, I can't remember if there's like a name for that style vest, but the quilt, you know, the puffer vest or puffer jackets from Patagonia that are down are incredible values. And I've talked about this in, before in my videos on my channel, not necessarily live, but Embroidery should not freak you out when it comes to Patagonia. For example, I found a brand new Patagonia vest, but it was embroidered with Hulu on the back, like, you know, where they would do a logo up top here. It, the, the vest was black. The text was obviously green, you know, Hulu green. And I was like, I'm going to get this. I have experience selling embroidered things. Um, but they have to be of value. Patagonia is one of those things where you can probably find it a bunch. You'll probably find it once throughout your reselling lifetime where it is embroidered. And it's one of those things where corporate, uh, maybe not so much these days, but corporate companies will, you know, support and do like a golf tournament or an outing or something. And they'll get, you know, a hundred, 200 vests for all their staff. And, you know, they end up, donated sometimes. Do not ever be afraid of embroidery. Sell it with the embroidery. It will still sell. I sold that Hulu vest for $75. You can check it in my closet. I'm not lying. <laughs> um, it sold very quickly. And I just think that's something that people can be uh, d deterred from. And assuming it's a good quality brand that holds its value and has great quality, great history, you should not ever let that bother you. 
Let me catch up on the comments. Hello, hello. Um, love the snap pocket cinchillas. So um, the cinchilla jackets are the like, oh my gosh, it's like, it looks like squishy cotton, like a squishy kind of blanket. Super good quality. Again, another type of item from Patagonia that does exceptionally well, even button downs. And the thing about Patagonia is they have like a recycle program. So you can send in your items TBD present day, check that policy present day to see if they're still doing that in this particular time. But um, you can find men's shirts in particular. They might have a beautiful long sleeve, but there's like a random different type of colored fabric. Kind of cool looking, but it's just different. And you're like, what? And it's part of the recycle program and they will fix it, patch it for you, which is amazing. Um, yes, yes, yes. I used to work at Dick Sporting Goods and we couldn't keep in stock. People go crazy. So I used to live, like I'm from upstate New York, New York City, upstate New York. The Patagonia, I will actually, I didn't think about this. I will group Patagonia and North Face into this like winter jacket kind of situation. Um, where I'm from and where I went to college, it's like a rite of passage that you have one of these types of jackets particularly to go out um, at night, to go out to like the bars and stuff. You don't want the heavy, heavy jacket, the expensive, expensive jackets, like the leather, et cetera, because they get stolen at parties. So um, you would always have that one jacket, that party jacket, and then like 50 people, you'd have to carry it because 50 people at the party would just throw them in the corner, throw them on the couch. You all know what I'm talking about if you went to college, yes. So, you know, it's they're, they're great quality and they last forever unless you rip them, but again, you can try to get them repaired. So yes, yes, fleece, yes, the fleece jackets, the fleece North Faces, the black fleece North Face with the logo, the nice zip pockets, even the vest version. So good, so good. Um, Emma Jean, I found that I have better luck selling women's Patagonia items over men's or kids. They get more attention off the rip. Off the rip, like off the bat. Um, I believe that, I believe that. Um, don't knock, don't knock, I mean, you're not knocking, but don't not pick up the men's because the men's will sell, sell well too. Totes, totes, shorts have done well for me. Vero, uh, what kind of shorts? Women's shorts, men's shorts? I mean, they'll all do well, but just curious. Love the party jacket. You, like, the party jacket. Like, it was a party jacket. Mine actually was branded with my college logo, so... And I was also the person, like, I'm not a big drinker and, you know, we won't go into that. Like nothing happened or anything. I'm just, I'm an old soul and that is not my jam. But I would always be the friend at the party. Like, don't put it on the couch. Give me the jacket. And I'd be the one with the jacket. <laughs> so funny. So funny. Yes. I cannot tell you how many times the jackets were stolen at the parties. It's nuts. That's why you had the friend like me holding the jacket. Like, I'll give it back to you tomorrow. We'll get brunch, you know, meet at the dining hall. Okay, so you sold women's shorts. Great, great. That's always that's always good. Okay, okay. Patagonia baggies, light nylon. Baggy, like baggy shorts. Cute, okay, okay. Um, I find the more utility looking, the better. Like more cargo short, the better, for men's in particular. And for women. I mean, that whole REI North Face Patagonia vibe does really, really well. But specifically Patagonia and a loop in North Face. Okay, great. Okay, great. Okay, great. So brief little shout out. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> we shall go on to the next brand. Oh, pardon. Let me grab a quick little iced tea moment. Oh my gosh, I'm parched. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love doing these, by the way. So thank you so much for coming back. Coming back and watching with me. Or chatting with me. Um, picked up two jackets of the bins. That is the best case scenario. Look at you. Look at you go. Okay, great. So a next brand is, can we guess it? I kind of already mentioned it. Mm -mm. Is Aloe. A-L-O. 
Hello Yoga. This brand, as I briefly mentioned earlier, they kind of got their stuff together from their earlier years and they have been booming. Like physically witnessing this brand in LA, especially the cool edgy styles are exceptional. Um, I find that I sell a lot of this to different parts of the country. In fact, I just sold a pair of brand new high-waisted leggings in a 7 eighths length, length. Excuse me. See these long leggings that go to the ankle, like, like just past the ankle to elongate the body. People want that, like, with the, with this bodycon activewear, you know, these bold moments. People want the length to, like, really make them look tall, you know? Make them look like skyscrapers. And uh, I would say, hi, Lori. Hey, sweets. Um, Aloe is really good for, like, people who are not... Um, let's say conservative, like people who are edgy and want to like spice up their, their workouts. Oh, they have such cool things. The leggings that I just sold this time around were super high waisted, would probably go up to, or just over the belly button on, on the body. And they had, they were gravel color and they had gold metallic rings around the leg and thigh, but like opposite leg and opposite thigh. It was so cool. So cool. And those were normally $135. So, oh, you just found out? Yes. 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 Good for you. I, it's definitely more East, uh, excuse me, West Coast based. I think, I think naturally all these activewear brands do really well out here because again, lifestyle, you can be outside all year long doing these things, especially leggings, like especially in the colder months, it makes more sense. Yay, you, Lori. Yay. Yay. Posh Boutique. Hey, girl. Hi. Hi, hi. I found aloe and didn't know what it was. Yeah, so, okay. So, oh, here's a big tip for this brand. Big tip for this brand. Ready? Are you listening? Turn turn and look at the TV. Grab your phone, wherever you're listening. Okay, aloe. A-L-O. It's technically called aloe, but I like to say A-L-O because, you know, the initials. Anyway. When you're looking for activewear from this company, there's two places that people do not generally look and can easily pass it pass it by. This brand is very subtle with the logo. And the logo is simply the letters, A-L-O, in lowercase. But what you have to remember is if it is not on the exterior of one of the legs, like near the cab area towards the bottom of the leg opening, it will be on the inside, inside of the waistband. And like, you have to like look inside the waist to see the label. So people can ruffle by and you would not believe people do not check the appropriate places for the tags and logos and you just so happen to find it for yourself. So definitely keep in mind that you are looking for the brand in the appropriate place. And for this particular company, it is inside that waistband or, and or inside, or excuse me, uh, by the leg opening, okay? Okay. Aloe makes the goddess leggings short of scrunching on the bottom. Yes, there's all sorts of um, like names for like the cuts and the edginess uh, of their of their lines. Very cool. Very cool. What was the one? What is the one that I just sold? So uh, I actually had a lot of inquiries on the type of fabric it was. Oh, vaporization. Oh no, vapor. Here we go. It was the high waisted Vapor Max, and people were asking if it's like the Wonder Unders or whatever from Lululemon. And I was like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> like to me, it's a nice fitting legging, but apparently, it's people like several people asked that question, and I was like, I don't know. But clearly, people want to know enough to ask it. You're welcome, Michelle. Definitely, just look on the inside. It will be lowercase. Uh, Lowercase letters. I don't think the brand does capitals. So, um, 
I feel like it was all over social media last year. Yeah, I think they they did a really big push. I know the store in the Grove here in LA got put in year, year and a half ago. So, you know, anytime they do kind of like a flagship store, like a major hub, they do a lot of press because that brand's really going through that next phase of psh, boom, booming. <laughs> uh the booty pop type. Um, yes, I do. Th I do think the Vapor Max is like the the lift and sculpt kind of legging, you know, to give nice um, <laughs> nice lift, if you will. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, follow Lasat. Thank you so much, girl. Don't forget to like the video. Okay, how are we doing on time? Thirty minutes. Okay, great. Okay, okay, you guys, we're good with aloe. And and in particular, I, I've i had luck with everything. Um, it's, a, it's a new company, so everything they put out for the most part is pretty current and still trendy. So definitely scoop it up. If it's worn, leave it. Uh, yeah, like don't don't waste your time. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're not getting into skims from Kim Kardashian, okay? Although Spanx is a good brand. Spanx is a good brand. Um, I can't say we'll always sell, but notable mention about Spanx, 100%. Okay, let's shift to the next brand, okay? You guys, are we good with that? Okay, okay. We're going to go to the next brand. And the next brand is questionable, but I'm going to elaborate. Okay, next. Everlane. So uh, let me just address that Everlane present day and for a little bit has been going through some brand misalignments, we'll call it. And they're, you know, they're figuring that out. However, what they have produced and are is still, you know, in the secondhand market, you know, it's all about recycling and um, keeping the keeping everything in motion in the fashion cycle, right? Um, so, despite whatever misfortunes they're currently dealing with and going through and trying to evolve and grow from, um, I would say Everlane for leather shoes and denim are top notch. And assuming the style of denim is right. Uh, for example, high-waisted, um, not so much the bell bottoms anymore. I think we're kind of going back to skinny, skinny legs. Uh, just make sure everything top-notch quality and with the leather and with good denim does pretty much always sell. Um, I will say forego men's pants, not jeans, but pants. Those have not been performing well. I just sold a pair of chinos that sat for a long time, which I was shocked about. But I think it's the whole like, lack of dressing up thing. So you know, people are cozying up at home in the jeans, people are experiencing the decline of summer in certain areas, which is crazy, because you know, we're basically we just had like our first like major heat wave. So I'm like, what? Um, but I have found two pairs of leather Everlane. I've got, uh, I've found a lot of Everlane recently. So um, it's been doing really well. And particularly, per you guys, <laughs> particularly, um, oh my God, I sound like Moira Rose. Oh, Alexis, it's particularly, <laughs> I could do that so well. I love it. I love it. Um, the leather shoes, if they're in great condition, will do very well. I just sold the Boss boot, and I just sold the recent, I think it's called the Street Shoe, just sold those today. They went out in the mail. Okay, so let's check the comments about... Hi, James. Hi. Hope you're doing well. Um, Margaret says, yay, found Everlane for the first time, and I chambray button front tunic moment. Yes. Um, I would avoid reselling, unless it's brand new, a tag, I would avoid reselling tees, just a basic tees from Everlane. Uh, cause they're, the retail of them is not that high. It's an expensive like t-shirt, but, um, on the resale market, I don't find it to be worth it. So stick to like, like the quality, like long lasting items, like a good pair of denim, a good pair of leather shoes. 
and that kind of applies to all higher end brands, I would say. You will always be up for some bell bottom flares personally. I can't do skinny. I understand that. I understand that. I know people that will never wear a skinny jean. I have not found Everlane yet. We'll continue. Yeah, I'm trying to think of any identifiers here. Uh, other than they've, you know, in their jeans, their pants, they have that gray tag with the white text of Everlane. That's just something to keep an eye out for. I would say Everlane, if you have an area of town that is, I hate saying this because I used to live there, um, like hipster Brooklyn, or if you live in like Denver or I don't know, like where's the hipster area? Where's the more um, millennial kind of hipster area? Because where those people donate, I guarantee you will find brands like Everlane, brands like Aloe, uh, brands like, what's another earthy one? Madewell, like uh, those anthropology, like those kind of uh those kind of styles will be generally in the vicinity of that area. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Um, razor sets are tough. Okay. Uh, not, I think you're talking about scooters. <laughs> um, oh, razors for face. Oh my God, I thought you meant razor scooters, <laughs> which for me, I, I'm going to accept that as a fair assumption because we have scooters in LA and they're back they're back up and running. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> You're talking about shaving. <laughs> I'm so silly. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I, I mean, I shave like once a week. <sighs> you know, I maybe shaved twice a week before, but agreed, people are not shaving. Like, what's the point? If you wanted to try a beard, try a beard. Or people are going full shave, like they're just shaving it all, head and everything. So like, there's no, there's no need for that. Um, have you sold those Everlane shoes? Yes, I just, I sold the Boss Boots like a couple weeks ago. And I sold the street shoes today. And I put them in the mail today, after the three hour period. Um, uh, <laughs> you want more Moira? <laughs> Who loves Shit's Creek? Okay, total tangent. Who loves Schitt's Creek? Thumbs up for Schitt's Creek. That is my jam. Oh, God, that is such a good show. I can't wait. And for those who wear glasses or want to wear sunglasses, Dan Levy is bringing back his eyewear company called DL Eyewear, or DL Eyes, like the letters DL and then E-Y-E-S. Um, he actually was working on this before Schitt's Creek, but then Shit's Creek took off, so he had to like put that on pause. So um, that comes out the 14th of August. It's happening very soon, so keep an eye out. Um, da -da -da. Hello, James. Hello, hello. I'm going to plug in. I hope everyone can. Sorry for the connection issues today, you guys. I was trying something new. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much for the sales. Yay. Um, hi from Boston. Hi, I'm catching up. I'm catching up on these comments. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Stacy. I don't think I said hi before. Sorry. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. I have a full beard for the first time in my life. Wow. Pictures or it didn't happen. Um, episode six. Okay. If you tried to get into Shit's Creek, but couldn't because of, like, just, I get it. It's an acquired type of humor or it's like a certain type of humor. If you've watched movies like Best in Show, or if you kind of liked the humor in Pitch Perfect, you will love Shit's Creek. It's like a very dry, but dry, blunt it's just so good. It's my, it's totally my type of humor and I love it. And um, to Lori's point, they got 15 Emmy nominations and like um, almost every single person in the cast got a, a a nomination for lead actor, lead supporting actors, actresses, et cetera. It was not to mention just show in general. It's incredible. I'm so happy for them. So happy for them. 
And it's a very like it's an open-minded show. It's oh, it's incredible. Everyone everyone feels welcome when they watch it, which I love. Um thank you. Yes, I did very well with the street shoe. Sure did. Sure did. Sold it for really well. Um, okay, okay. We love Schitt's Creek. Highly recommend. And you can binge all seasons on Netflix. And if you're in Canada, which is where they filmed and where they're based out of, um, I think it's on CB, what's it called? CBC? CBC TV? CBTV? Something Canada something. It's like, yeah, CB something. <laughs> um, love it. Love it. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Okay, so next up for the brands that will always sell out. And these are the more, um, a lot, like, I would say this is going into, like, quality slash fashion, like, high fashion. Um, let's go into Fry. I think we can all agree if we've found Fry, a good leather Fry boot that is in excellent condition or even worn condition, depending on the style, will always sell. I recently had a great fry day <laughs> where it was, I literally found three pairs of fry shoes and I barely find fry ever. Um, but it's been, Everlane and Fry, I've been finding it a ton. And those, again, Fry would be another brand where if you're finding um, Everlane, things like that, Fry is probably close by. Thank you, Vero. Yes, CBC. Yes, thank you. Fry is so good. Like my fry sneakers have like zero likes after a week. I can't believe it. Um, go. Th make sure your listing is tagged appropriately. Make sure it's a sneaker. Make sure you chose if it's a woman's or men's. Like just make sure those things are correct. Um, make sure you're using the name of the color, like from the from the brand. Like if it's gray, but it's actually called like stone. Make sure that's in there, okay? Do like a little self audit. I think self audits are so important. Whether you're a pro, like a pro, just beginning, like self audits are always something to, to keep in mind, for sure. For sure. Um, I've only found fry slipper socks before at Marshall's, but flipped them. Yes. Um, <laughs> can't speak to the sock reselling game, but I can, from experience, say that boots will always do well. Um, men's women's like i just found a pair you'll see it in a haul coming up in the coming weeks uh an orange pair of boots that are on the verge of cowboy style but oh my gosh they're they've they're worn but they're so cool like it's just so cool so i'm excited to sell those um I have a pair that I'm having a hard time listing because I cannot find the size inside. So Michelle, um, a tip I have for you is if it's a boot, I imagine it's a boot, um, fold down. It, it's probably like if you were to take your hand, depending on the size of your hand, TBD, but if you were to take your hand and put your whole, like from this part of your hand into the boot, you should find the sizing in silver or black, like, around your the tips of your fingers like that's how far down it's going to be in the boot if it's not there check the bottom obviously you probably did that or if that's not the case my new latest tip which i cannot remember i shouted her out on instagram but someone recommended to me going to the dollar store finding a pack of insoles like cheap you know the dollar insoles but what it comes with is a cardboard sizer and it has all these lines so you can cut size appropriately and cut the, the insole to be the appropriate size. Cut that and use that to see what general size the shoe is. That worked for me for a pair of the Rachel Comey boots that I just found. So I hope that helps. Hope that helps. That was a big nugget of advice. Apologies for the windedness. <laughs> um, well, Kinsley, also remember, I am speaking from major city access of brands. So, you know, virtually I could talk about like literally any brand, if, like the access is here. So um, a lot of these trendier brands are more boutique-y kind of brands. Um, I can imagine that it takes a little bit longer to get to the center of the country, the middle of the country. 
Um, Cause that is, that is real, you know? Um, I was, cru- do, 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 do. I was cruising someone's closet today when I saw the seller sold Fry men's combat boots, wildly worn, I dare say tattered for 60 bucks. I am telling you people. Okay. Here's the thing too. Here's something. And I follow uh, this gentleman on YouTube, totally not reseller related, but he is a cobbler and his name is uh, Steve. His YouTube name is Beto's, B-E-D-O apostrophe S, Leatherwork. This man creates, fixes shoes. It is incredible. But something that I've learned while watching him, and this applies to this statement, if people find a shoe or a style or, you know, say they paid $5 for the shoe, but the repair or to resole or to recondition, et cetera, is like, let's say two to six, eight, a thousand dollars, people will do it. And I was shocked by that. But then he explained people have attachments like, you know, um, I won't, go off of this example, but you know, there was a person that on one of his videos, he redid a pair of Chanel sandals. He basically, the only thing that wasn't changed was the, it was a thong kind of style flip flop leather, of course. But the only thing he didn't change was the leather thong strap, everything else he redid. So it's like, you know, it's not really Chanel anymore, but he's like, people want, what they want and they will pay for it. So, you know, that could be this person, that person. I did that. I found a pair of Salvatore Ferragamo boots for $11 and I was like, um, I will just get these resold. They're beautiful. And, you know, they live with me in my closet now. <laughs> yes, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. I have gently 40 60 if someone wants to take them off my hands, not to mention I'm using you to tag marble sold sneakers. Oh, those are the sneakers, Margaret. Yes. Margaret's got some really cool, like the the rubber sole is marbleized and it's very cool. Very cool. Um, summarization. Oh my god, I watch the shoe channel also. Wait, you do? Like, okay. He, Steve is incredible. Like, I would like to meet Steve. I would like to dirty up a pair of shoes just so he can fix them because incredible work. He's incredible. He also fixes like Louis Vuitton bags and Chanel bags and Gucci bags. Like it's incredible the work he does. And he's very honest. He'll be like, this is, this was okay, but you know, we couldn't do too much because of X, Y, Z or, you know, the leather was worn or this is 60 years old. So we can only do so much. Incredible. Definitely recommend Vito's B-E-D-O apostrophe S leather work. So good. Michelle, Michelle, girl, thank you so much. That's so special. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, Oh, that makes me so happy. You know what? Cheers, Michelle. This is just iced tea, but cheers. Cheers for the five dollars. Is it a foot long? No, it's an iced tea. Five (laughs) dollars. My God, that late night. It's not even late. That crazy, you know? Don't know what's going on, but the video keeps cutting to black screen. Would love to stay. Oh, I'm sorry, Christina. Oh, I'm sorry. So sorry. Um, I found a pair of current season Robert Graham driving loafers. Oh my God, why, why, why? They're all my size. Listen, James, hoarder, you have, based on conversations we've had, you do not need to keep those shoes. <laughs> Like, where are you going? <laughs> um, I think the black screen is happening on phone and iPad. When I searched my computer, it worked. Okay, okay. I hope it's, I, like, I am seeing no issues. I have it up on my computer as well. I'm not seeing issues. So um, hopefully it will replay fine. Sorry that everyone's experiencing that, though. <sighs> no confetti. <laughs> no more confetti. <laughs> I used so much confetti and that was, I'm still finding bits and pieces of it all around my apartment. It was, that is a one time, once a year situation. (laughs) That's a lie. I might do it if we're still quarantined and I can't do anything for New Year's. I will do my own New Year's uh, photo shoot. (laughs) Oh my gosh. No, Barb. No, Barb. Not today. Not today. Uh, Not today. Um... Oh my gosh. No, I feel like you did though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do 
James is a hoarder. James has so much stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys. Okay, that's so weird. I guess it's not working. It, the connection is not consistent on phone or iPad. But, you know, for those who are watching on a computer screen, appreciate you. Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Hi. Actually, this is a perfect time. Leslie, Leslie entered the chat. Um, perfect time to tell you guys that next Wednesday, yeah, next Wednesday, Leslie will be my guest on What's Up Wednesdays. And we're going to be talking about, drum roll please, multiple streams of income when you're a reseller or any any person with side hustles, more than one, want to have more than one. Um, Leslie's kind of the queen of having many and counting. <laughs> I find myself to be the same, um, uh, like same methodology behind it. We'll get into it more uh, next week, but come join us next Wednesday for a chat with Leslie and myself to talk about diversifying your income streams across the interwebs. And it's easier than you think. It's just, you know, you got to stay organized. So it'll be very exciting. Um, yes, Michelle, it'll be a great conversation. Leslie and I have a great conversation. It'll be a good chat. So definitely come join. James says, in this day and age, you really need multiple streams of income. You never know. Listen, I, you know, thumbs up if you've been working, you know, I've been working more in my life. I'm at this point now where I've worked more in my life than been alive. No, wait, I don't know. Do you, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like I have worked since I've been 14, 15 to present day. You know, I've worked a longer amount of time. No, wait, that's all. Yeah, yeah. I've worked a longer amount of time in my life than I haven't, which I guess is normal for people as they age, but <laughs> I'm just <laughs> off the cuff here. <laughs> having a little ditzy moment. Um, yeah, I mean, and like Leslie says, you don't want to miss it, okay? She knows it's up. And she might even bring her husband, so stay tuned. Um, yeah, diversifying income is like, I mean, but I think people just don't look at, look at it when they say those terms, because um, I think it sounds a little bit, um, what's the word? Like anytime people bring up finances, people get a little weird, but it's like, you know, diversifying income. It's like, we're not talking about stocks and bonds. We're talking about selling on Poshmark, selling on Mercari, selling on Etsy, you know, things like that. And it's, you know, I think people get nervous and it's like, it's a lot easier. I think people make it a thing before they realize, oh, why was I making such a fuss about it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we will, we still have seven minutes. So we still have a little bit of time to get to my last two brands. This is perfect. Time to perfect, you guys. Okay, so this next brand is fashion, like a fashion edgy brand. And I find that it will always sell. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess? If you're a New Yorker, you know what this brand is, okay? If your favorite color is black or white, you know what this is. And drum roll, please. Brrr. Acne, Acne Studios. You guys, Acne is an incredible brand. High fashion, bold fashion. Uh, they have great footwear, men's and women's. Well, men's? No. I cannot speak for that at this particular time. I just know that they have women's because that's what I focus on. Um, but the like incredible women's heels, boots, uh, like, like if you are, what's the right word? Like, I'm trying to think of like adjectives for types of people. If you are cool, if you are edgy, if you are clean cut, but want a, a, like a droplet of style with, with simple, Acne is where it's at, like good quality denim, good quality shoes. Like it's incredible. Also, like it can go very edgy as well. Love it. I've seen a pair of acne jeans and I didn't think to get them. Uh, acne, uh, acne can show up brand wise, label wise in a couple different ways. It can show up in heels, footwear, just acne, whereas 
jeans are Acne Studios. I don't know if that's one or the other. I, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. Uh, but I know it can show up different labels, but still be under the same brand. So um, you just keep an eye out for Acne and Acne Studios. For denim in particular, Acne Studios, men's and women's, uh, is a white label with black writing and it's Acne Studios stacked. Very, um, very A gold. If you've seen A gold denim, that label, very similar to that kind of setup. Yeah, yeah. Minimalist, great. That's the word I was looking for, minimalist. Like conservative, clean cut. Like think Vince, like the brand Vince, not Vince Camuto, not Vince Camuto, just Vince, but edgier and a little bit, you know, higher price. Kinsley, has anyone sold totes boots? Do you mean to boot? Like T-O space B-O-O-T? Because that's along the same lines. Um, no, I know. I know Nick loves. I know Nick loves Acne Studios. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. All right, you guys. So that's it about acne. Any questions about acne before we move on? Before we move on. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, all right, we'll move on to that next brand, our last brand of the night, wrapping out the day. Oh, real quick, deal you, deal you. I only found acne once and I didn't know about it, so I left it. I remember thinking, what a weird name. <laughs> okay, okay, rule, rule, right? We're gonna establish this rule. Anytime you think a brand name is weird, Google, put it into Poshmark. Like, you would not believe the names that are out there in the world of fashion. Um, especially if it's like not cheap feeling, Google that name because you could be passing up money. The money. And it's always good when it's a brand that no one knows so that it prices differently. Like, I don't know where else you guys are in the world at this particular moment, but here in LA, um, post COVID, certain stores are pricing differently. And I think they've been able to spend a little time researching. So, uh, you know, people are aware of, of, of brand names that they necessarily weren't before. So definitely keep an eye out. Um, always Google. Thank you, James. Always Google. Takes literally seconds. Just Google. Okay. Don't get it just based off the Google. Do a little bit of research, but you know what I'm saying? Like if you Google like whatever, and the first thing you see are a couple, it, sh it should show up for a brand, a couple items from their website or something with prices most likely. So definitely check that out. Okay. All right. And last brand, you guys, last brand. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Last brand of the night is a men's brand. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? John Barbados. John Barbados. So I have found this a bunch of times. I've worn it myself. Um, the prices can get quite high, uh, especially if it's just uh, the John Barbados label, not John Barbados USA. Um, John Barbados can sell very well. It is a men's brand. They do denim. They do button downs. They do... Um, there's I, I, something to note about the brand. Their sizing is generous. It's not based off of like, um, like an Asian sizing that's you know smaller. It's I would say more. I'm trying to think of what to compare it to. If we're comparing like Hollister to Old Navy, you know Hollister being teeny weeny, Old Navy being a little bit more like of the average kind of person, I would say size wise, John Barbados is like that Old Navy sizing. Like it's, it's generous and you know, you don't need to be a size negative four to feel comfortable in it. And it's, I would say you can buy an extra large and it be an extra large. Uh, and I find that for men's, it does, ex I mean, that is what it is, but uh, <laughs> I find that it sells well. Anytime I have John Barbados, it always sells well for me and kind of quick, to, you know, depending on what it is. So, um, Michelle says, yes, I came across with a new attack to Arvidas at Goodwill. Never heard of it. Oh, good. You got it. Good, 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 good. What was it? Like, um, 
jeans, top, button down. And um, just for everyone, a men's sweater. Nice. Oh, good. That's good. Um, just and just as a general reminder with these brands that we've talked about today, keep in mind when you purchase them, they need to be at a good cost. Like just because it's a name and it can and will sell, just be mindful that the margin is there for your business. Like if you're spending $20 on, uh, on like, let's pretend that uh, Michelle, who just talked about her new attacks, John Barbados, let's say she just bought that for $20 and it sold for 60, right? And that's, I mean, that's not terrible, but like after fees, the, the margin isn't huge. But if she got that for five, six, seven dollars and then sold it for 60, that is the margin we're talking about after fees. Like that is exceptional. And that goes for all brands and all sourcing in, uh, in general. The lower your cost of goods can be, you know, the, the more profit you can have in your pocket, which is ultimately the goal, you know? So, oh wait, hold on. John Barbados has his roots at Polo. Calvin Klein also has own store before his own brand name. Oh, good to know. Good to know. The the John Barbados store here in Los Angeles is on the corner of Melrose and Robertson, across from any Bravo fans, uh, across from Sir Restaurant, Lisa Vanderpump's uh, restaurant, her first one. Well. Actually, I don't think that's the case, but her first one in WeHo. And then right up the street from that is Pump and Tom Tom. Um, what else is next to it? Uh, John Barbados is on the corner of those streets again. And if you were to continue on Melrose, its neighbor is Craig's, the famous restaurant, which is, which was, is like a trendy paparazzi spot for celebs. Very dark though. Like I've been inside. Very dark restaurant. Very old school, like dark restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. Michelle got that John Barbados for $2. Yes, Michelle. Yes, Michelle. Good for you. Good for you. All right. Oh, and John Barbados shoes are great money. Yes. Especially if they're leather. Yeah. Great job. Great job. Great job, everybody. All right. So it's been an hour. It's been a little over an hour. Oh my gosh. Who just sent me something? You guys. I can't. Angry Owl. Angry Owl. You're anything but angry. And I just appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you guys so much. Um, I am going to be uh, live, just as a reminder, I am going to be live next Wednesday, same time, same place, with Leslie, a reseller's passion. We'll talk about diversifying income. Uh, stay tuned for... Friday's video, and it will be a, a what sold for my month of July. And it was good. It was much better than my month of June. And I hope you all found today's video to be a ton of info. I am so appreciative that these are, uh, that we're all liking these and it's being received well. That makes me very happy. I am working on some projects and th some things to come down the line. Um, I'm trying to be creative here. Uh, and and grow and grow YouTube and uh, think of ways that we can interact more. So stay tuned for that. You'll all know when I can tell you. And um, that being said, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, you guys. Please, please, please. It helps algorithm. And I think that's it. Anyone anyone have any last minute bits of uh, questions, comments, concerns before I say goodbye and end the chat? Just let me know. Just let me know. Just let me know. Can we get uh, 40 likes before I leave, please? Pretty please. We're, we're so close. We're at 38. There's 44 people. Oh, my God. Come on. Two more likes. I just need two more likes. <laughs> please. Two more likes. <laughs> oh, my God. Do I need to do my Moira Rose Shits Creek impression? Alexis, how absolutely exuberant you are this evening. <laughs> Um, <laughs> ew, David. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I'm, I'm so upset. I'm obsessed. I'll do one for Lori. I'll do a Shit's Creek impression. I'm really good at impressions, so maybe that's something I need to do one day. Um, 
I love it. I love it. Uh, this is for Lori. Ready? Lori. <clears throat> Lori. It absolutely exuberantly. <laughs> I need a good descriptive word. Um, Lori, it's absolutely preposterous that you got Blake a gift. It's so uncanny. Wait, I just turned to British. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Okay, I will. I will. I will, Lori. Oh my God, you and Jay. Let me see if I could do something for you and Jay. Uh, lo, lo, I need to give you like a longer name. Lori just doesn't do it. Um, Rocco. Rocco. How dare... <laughs> I'll, I'll call you. <laughs> I'm screwing it up. I could do it really well, but I'm screwing it up right now. Um, I need something like short and sweet, like Alexis, how absolutely divinity of you. Like just something that totally doesn't make sense. <laughs> Lori Tata. <laughs> like I would say Lori, uh, Moira would say Lori Tata. Um, Lori, where's baby? <laughs> Bye, Vero. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will save this. You can watch, you know, down the line if you wanted to come back and check it out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for my super chats. Lori, I'll call you in a bit. Have a great night, you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.